Hey guys, welcome back. So just to let you know, I'm still on vacation and dealing with poor audio, so please bear with me, but I wanted to ask for your opinion on something, and some of you have already seen it, but it's just not sitting well with me, and I wanna hear your thoughts on it. So you guys know the three-part series I did, which concluded with my last video, and if you're new to my channel, I'll leave the series in chronological order in the description box below so you can catch up, as this video ties in with that series. Okay, so subsequent to the conclusion of that series, I started noticing, and you guys especially started to notice, a lot of influencers amending their disclaimers to reflect the fact that they earn commission from purchases made through their affiliate links. And although this is something that is required of them by law, most of them feel as though the law is optional, but following my video, myself and a lot of you guys started to notice a change. Little by little, influencers are starting to amend their disclosures, some of which I have spoken about in my videos and some I've never spoken of. Now, I don't want to say the change is due to my videos, but the timing is interesting, and let's be honest, it's kind of because of my videos, and you guys, of course. I see you questioning them, and while some of them have been very receptive to the change, for example, Nikki Tutorials and Alexandria Garza, who have both amended their disclosures, there was one person's response which I found to be very salty, and you guys know I come with names and receipts, so that person is Tati Westbrook, aka the Glam Life Guru. I'll start off by saying that I used to be a fan of Tati's despite the fact that she plays into the whole Snapchat fam scam BS because listen, I don't believe there are any influencers that are perfect and I don't expect them to be and I definitely don't think that you have to agree with them on absolutely everything they say and do and that's fine as long as you believe their core values and morals are honest and genuine, I think that's all that matters. But I started noticing some cracks in the foundation that is the Glam Life Guru and her response to this whole disclaimer issue really was the nail in the coffin for me. The day after my last video went live, Tati included this disclaimer and it really got my back up. Let's keep in mind that in previous videos, Tati did not mention anything about an FTC disclaimer, but if you go through her videos now, magically not only has this disclaimer been removed and replaced with a less salty version, but she's also amended and removed our style links, which I know were there prior to this whole thing because one, I planned on including her in a video, and two, she admitted to using them in this disclaimer in an effort to recoup money spent on products to review for her subscribers. This disclaimer was originally on her video called New Glam Glow Tested Hot or Not, but like I said, has since been removed, probably due to the backlash she received, but of course, we know the internet is forever and I have the receipts. Let's talk about the bitterness to do your job that is this disclaimer. It reads, FTC disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I proclaim that I have nothing to disclaim other than sometimes when linking products, I'll use an affiliate link in an attempt to recoup some of the money I invest on products to review for you guys. But what it does not mean is that I have a relationship with the brands mentioned, nor are my opinions swayed by the fact that a link exists. In fact, I only look for them when writing the description, in brackets, after the video has has been shot, edited, and uploaded. Click my links or don't click my links, they are there for your convenience on the product reviewed. What I care about most is that you guys enjoy my videos and remain positive and uplifting to one another. Okay, so I have a few issues here, so let me get them out and then I need your opinions. So first off, I was turned off by the whole I proclaim that I have nothing to disclaim line, which reeked of a self-entitled holier-than-thou attitude and it only got worse from there because she actually did have something to disclaim. Because she used an affiliate link to direct you to the product, so the only reason for this line is simply to be sassy about something she is required by law to disclose. I don't think something like this warrants attitude, but that's just my opinion. Let's talk about her saying that sometimes when linking products, she uses affiliates in an attempt to recoup some of the money she invests on products to review for her subscribers. Where do I even start here? First of all, the products she reviews for her subscribers is also known as content for her channel, so she gets a video out of it, which in turn results in income through AdSense. She also gets to keep the product for herself after the review, and she can also write it off in her taxes, and she wants to recoup more money through her referral link. I mean, listen, she is free to do so, but actually stating that she attempts to recoup money on products to review for her subscribers is just tacky in my opinion and she would have been better off not saying anything at all but instead she wanted to get sassy and actually ended up looking worse than she would have if she simply did her job and disclosed that she made a commission on her referral links. How hard is that? 
And as you can see from these examples, even after revising her disclaimer on several of her most recent videos, she still fails to clearly state that she will earn commission off the links in her description box. The last two examples were taken from her older videos which have absolutely no disclosure whatsoever, which is exactly what her most recent videos look like prior to her revisions. Referring back to her statement of attempting to recoup money she invests in products to review for her subscribers, keep in mind that this is someone who just got married at the Four Seasons in Maui, so I'm sure Tati is not experiencing any financial hardship whatsoever. Was she also trying to recoup money from her subscribers for her wedding video that she shared and monetized? I'm sorry, but this whole recouping of money spent on content for her channel is absurd in my opinion. I don't see Jeffree Star trying to recoup money from his subscribers for items he chooses to review, because let's be honest, they review a lot of the same stuff. Another thing that really pisses me off is when influencers go on and on about everything they do is for their subscribers when really, it's actually for them. Tati says that she uses affiliate links for her subscribers' convenience, which is total BS because if that were the sole reason for her using them, why is she using a referral link to Sephora when she could link straight to the Sephora website? Why? Because she wants to make money off this sale, which is fine. Just say so. Don't give all the BS about recouping money and providing links for the convenience of your subscribers. It's like she's dead set on disguising the fact that she makes money off the links she provides and not only did the disclaimer come off as really bitchy in my opinion, she still fails to disclose the fact that she will earn commission off the link and yes I get that this disclaimer has since been deleted but the one that now replaces it doesn't contain the commission disclosure either. It's so fucking annoying that it's literally like pulling teeth to get some of these influencers to do their job and be upfront about this. It's much easier to do the right thing, which they should be doing on their own and not as a result of being pushed into it. I would have had a lot more respect for her had she not posted this ridiculous disclaimer and just owned it and made the changes like Nikki and Alexandria did. So you guys, please don't go and attack Tati. I don't think you would anyway, but these are just my thoughts and I am definitely not saying that you shouldn't support Support her. As always, you guys are free to support whoever I speak about. And you don't have to always agree with me either, but this is why I raise issues with you guys to get other perspectives on situations. So please let me know how you guys feel about this disclaimer, whether you thought it was salty, whether it even matters anymore because it's been deleted, and also let me know if you've noticed any other influencers who have changed their disclaimers since my video because I'm really interested in that. Also, before I go, I want to say that if I speak about somebody who makes an effort after my video to change their disclosure, I will always recognize that and thank them on Twitter, like I have with Nikki and Alex, both of which who have responded to my tweets because everyone deserves a chance to change and I think it's important to recognize their initiative. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys again soon in my next one. Bye, guys.